Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, getting fruit and our vines. And the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Son of man, what is the vine tree more than any tree or than a branch which is among the trees of the forest? Ezekiel 15, 1 through 2. The Israelites had some rather mistaken and arrogant ideas about how God would respond to their rampant departing from his ways. They thought they could get away with any lifestyle simply because of their high regard for their forefathers. They assumed that because of this, they were favored above everybody else and that God would never cast them away. But God had a different message for them if they continue to refuse to turn. In order to humble Israel, God told them that they were no more than any other nation. God called them a vine. God planted Israel. God nurtured Israel in a fruitful hill. The tide turned because Israel brought forth no fruit. It was as though God was saying to them, Why should I continue with you when you are fruitless? What is the vine tree more than any tree or than a branch which is among the trees of the forest? The only way God would see Israel as being of value in comparison with the other surrounding nations was if they began to bring forth fruit to him. A major element to bringing forth fruit that we simply cannot overlook is humility. Without humility there will be no fruit, but with it we can expect the wheels to begin to turn. And as a result, great things from God will eventually take place. Let's think about the trees for a moment. Pick any type of tree that you wish to compare it with a vine. There is no comparison in terms of size, shape or how that a tree can produce wood. A vine does not stand a fighting chance against the gigantic makeup of a tree. However, consider the vine's ability to produce fruit. Apart from its fruitfulness, a vine is useless. It all comes down to the fruit. Galatians 5.22 reminds us, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Israel was called God's vine. They were trained by God himself and they were to bring forth fruit for his glory. The caution that God has for us is lest we should think that he chose us for anything in and of ourselves. He chose us because of his unconditional love for us and not because of any amount of worthiness of our own. We who are valiant for the truth of God would have been valiant for the devil if it had not been for the grace of God. We don't want a fruitless profession. We must guard against being professors of Christianity who do not bear fruit. Especially now in the time of COVID, it's easier to minister to people than ever before. So now, with so many persons using WhatsApp, so many persons on Facebook, so many persons on Instagram, this is when we have to make social media work for the glory of God. I bless God for the many members of my church and other persons who listen to Morning Manor who continue to share it on their status, continue to share it in their various groups. And already we have persons who have come to the Restoration Center and they've been baptized because somebody shared the Morning Manor. So I say you might not be able to preach like Paul or teach like Peter, but that which you have in your hand, use it for the glory of God. Sometimes the task of reaching our world and our towns for God seems way too overwhelming. Yet when we break it down to each child of the kingdom of God becoming a vital part of the process, then we can begin to see how that we together as a team can accomplish our dream of a worldwide revival. In Jesus' name, it's going to happen. The thought of the day. The only way God would see Israel as being of value in comparison with the other surrounding nations was if they began to bring forth fruit to him. God bless you today. In Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. Hey, we make a